Hey guys, welcome back to my Wolfed Out Fallout 3 series. In this particular video, I am going to show you another first look at another house mod just right outside of Springvale. A little bit right down the road from Megaton, a little bit right down the road from Vault 101, and hopefully what we will see is going to be excellent i've looked at the mod page i've looked at the at the pictures it looks really promising plus this mod has been out for quite a while and the mod creator of this uh particular house mod has done one for skyrim as well which had which has a couple of reviews though they don't take the first person look for the reviews of his particular Skyrim house mod, but I will eventually get to that myself. And let's go ahead and see what we got. Now, this house mod is just right under this this amazing little gas station rocket ship, uh, but we have to find the key. The key should be off in a mailbox somewhere around here. I think it might be this one. Letter from Vault Tech Personal Shelters Department and Mini Hideout Key. Alright, dear Mr. Richardson, the work on your personal shelter has been complete. This includes Miss Sparkle Custom Display Case and the light misalignment which was corrected by Mr. Eaton himself. He can be found just under the Red Rocket gas station across from your residence. Please find along with this letter the key to your new shelter. Inside you'll find the following amenities. Aquarium, jacuzzi, katana display, mannequin display, water purifier, hidden wall safe, pristine Nuka-Cola machine, Chris, which is a computer butler, well-rested bed, a wonder meat maker, ooh, infirmary, laboratory, workbench, watered fungus garden, <laughs> storage containers, two floor safes, a refrigerator, a wall-mounted jukebox, a display case, a purified sink, a bathroom, and a bobblehead display. Also, your home has been marked for any fast travel needs. Note. Work on your private room has been completed, but we are in the process of transporting your personal possessions to fill the room. We expect to have them all set up within a month. If you have any questions or concern recording your new personalized shelter, please feel free to contact us. Well done. Ah, With the upcoming news of Fallout 4, Mods on the Nexus for Fallout 3 and New Vegas have been popping up quite pleasantly. Uh, this is activated somewhere else. Where do we activate? Ah, right there. Awesome. Yeah, mods have been popping up all over the place. Like, I've recently seen and downloaded a mod uh, for New Vegas where you can build your own mod just like it had in the E3 showcase. Uh, new Rivi City revamps, all kinds of stuff. So this has brought a lot of attention to the modding community. And people are doing a lot of playthroughs and a lot of streams with Fallout 3. So why is everybody being a complete ass and doing the evil playthrough and blowing up Megaton? That makes no sense to me. There's a lot of stuff in there. Alright. Now this looks roughly familiar. <laughs> ah. This is the water purification center. Okay. Purify one dirty water. You have purified one dirty water. Oh, it's not the automated one like it is in the underground hideout. But this seems to be have well, have taken quite a lot of inspiration from that. Oh well, nicely done. And what do we got here? Empty trash can and a light switch. Oh. Oh, that's cool.
Oh, here we got a mannequin display. Kind of creepy looking mannequin though. Has almost a realistic feel. Look at the, look at the arms. Ugh. <laughs> Activate statue. What? Door to hidden tunnel. Oh, what is that? Okay, okay. Let's let's this is the jacuzzi. It looks very, very nice. Though used for multiple people. The water, though. The water looks fantastic. Alright, what do we got here? A bathroom. Open bathroom. But I guess since this is a, um, a single player kind of thing, no followers in here. A right, very own aquarium, just like the underground night out. Um, bobblehead display. How do we activate that? Hmm. I guess that's it. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Katana stand. Find katana added. Scrap katana added. Just like the underground hideout. Really neat, really cool looking, and well done with the rocks and the and the and the little tiny bushes. We got here, light switch, fountain switch. Here's another display case for another fine katana. Um, first aid kit. Activate the infirmary. We got a very lovely vault bed. Clean, pristine. And we got here a hidden safe. Oh, wow. That is a neat animation. Oh, that is cool. And the mini, mini jukebox. Hey, everybody. This is Three Dog. And we got a little mini... <laughs> a miniature map of the of the of the area. <laughs> Wonder meat maker. What is this? Hideout terminal. Stockpile ammo, food, medical supplies, tools. Change to female mannequin. Uh, Good to see you, madame. How may I assist you? Oh, it's automated. And it has its own voice. How does the hot tub work? Due to advances in the field of radiation removal, simply stand or sit in the water and watch those nasty rats fall away. Of course, if you're in a hurry, you could simply just drink the water, but it's not the most hygienic option. Oh. <laughs> of course. Have a fine day, madame. Oh, that is cool. That is so cool. All right, we got our own personal floor safes right here. Our own chemistry set. Here's weapons, armor, junk. Our own named brand lockers that we can use. Also, here is the fungus. Fungus garden. But we can't seem to grab the greenery, can we? Hold on. Turn on my hub. Yeah, we can't seem to grab the fungus from from this area. Unlike the one in Underground Hideout. Very own custom made Nuka Cola fridge. That's new looking. A pristine yet smaller Nuka Cola machine. A giant hula doll. <laughs> Oh, all of this is well done. Everything looks nice. Everything looks cool. We got a weird painted Brotherhood of Steel. We got a workbench. And we got a little tiny chest for tools on the workbench. All right, let's activate. Let's activate the hidden tunnel.
Oh, I like the fungus. Growing green and shit. Ah. Okay. I downloaded the uh, the advanced computer terminal uh, part of the mod where it has it where you would have to have 75 in science in order to have this terminal. There is an easier terminal uh, mod option where you can use. But let's go ahead and hack into this. Disable force field. Uh, more mannequins. Is that is that the mysterious stranger outfit? It is. We can grab it for ourselves. Oh wow. There's a light switch. And what is this? Mr. Burks? No. Mm. Okay. We seem to have ourselves our very own display area where we can put up weapons or armor for a showcase. A heavy weapon. Now these little statue heads don't do anything, but that's quite alright. Nice use of water dripping down. Though it's weird that there is no like little drainage uh, system right here for appearance sake. Another mannequin, and another mannequin right there. And I guess this is the special gun for this mod? Activate gun display. HK416 Assume my blood. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at that. I'll go down my... Well, the appearance of this gun looks rather, rather cool. Rather intimidating, though, too. Oh, wow, look at that in first person. That thing is gorgeous looking. It's automatic, too. Wow, that thing is so badass looking. I wonder if we can put it back. Yeah, we can. Awesome. Nice little feature. Comes with its own special kind of weapon. And comes with the ability to access and have the mysterious stranger's outfit. Well done. This house mod is really, really cool. It doesn't do as much as the underground hideout, but still, this is a very good house mod. Hmm. Can we close it? Yeah. All that is so neat. I like hidden stuff like that. Makes me wanna makes me wanna look at this place a lot more. But I think that's the only special feature of it. Really cool. Just what every single person needs. <laughs> uh, well I am Warren the Werewolf. Thank you for watching this tiny video on the mini house hideout mod. <laughs> the link to this mod is going to be in the description below, just like the other ones. Now you guys stay furry, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.